Hey guys and welcome to Aussie Reviews. Today I'm checking out the GME handheld 5 watt UHF radio. The model number on this one is TX6600S. Now you'll see on the box here it says STP. The TP just simply designates the twin pack. So let's open the box and show you what's inside. So it comes in this Pelican type plastic hard carry case. When you open it up you can see that inside it's really presented quite nicely. You know, you've got some nice, uh, you know, um, hard foam there to protect obviously the electronics and everything's laid out nicely. So I'll just pull everything out and we'll show you individually what's uh, inside here. So it comes with a bit of promotional gear here from GME and also a quick start guide. Now it doesn't come with a full manual and I found this with the two watt handheld radios from GME that I reviewed a couple of years ago. You just have to go online and the full manual is just on the GME website here in Australia. Comes with a dual charger and obviously the uh, power cable to the standard 240 volt outlet. Comes with two external mics so you know just push to talk on the side and at the back there's a clip there to attach to your pocket or belt or wherever you want to attach that. And last of all it comes with two of the actual uh, radios themselves. So looking at the radio itself the first thing that you feel with this is it's just sturdy. You know it is quality. It's made here in Australia we've got a five year warranty on the radio and there's a one year warranty on the actual uh, battery itself. But just overall the feel of it you can feel the quality in it. A uh, couple of things about it here, so we've just got the on off uh, knob there and then the more you turn that up obviously that will increase um, the volume. There's just a really nice sturdy feel to that. Once you do turn it on you can change the channels simply with uh, the knob at the top here. Okay, It'll go through the different channels or you can use the arrows up and down on the uh, front of the unit. We've got uh, the mic here, we've got the speaker naturally the antenna there. Uh, we've got the squelch button, the push to talk on the side. Uh, we've got two priority uh, channel buttons there so if you've got a channel that you like to go to um, you know quite often then you can program that in on the side there. Uh, we've got a scan button at the top here as well so obviously if you're wanting to scan certain channels um, you can program all that in. There's so much to this radio. Um, guys I can't possibly cover it in the intro but I'll just cover some of the uh, main highlights or features that I found quite important. Uh, on the back we've got the belt clip there so you know if um, you like that feature you can use that or naturally you can use those external mics that come in this twin pack. On the front we've got uh, programmable buttons at the top here and then we've got a menu button so fairly easy to navigate. As I said there are a lot of features in this radio um, so you know read up on the manual there. It's online so anyone can go and have a look at that and you can see some of the features you know in more detail. So the physical size of this okay um, it's not a really overly sized radio as you can see still fits nicely into the palm of your hand. So with the width we're looking about 59 millimeters, uh, 42 millimeters uh, in depth and we're looking at um, 128 millimeters high. That's not including the antenna, okay? Now operating uh, temperature it will work between minus 20 to plus 60 degrees Celsius so look that pretty much covers um, you know any temperature that we're going to experience here in Australia that's for sure. The weight of it uh, with the battery and antenna attached is 337 grams. So, you know, it's not like ultra lightweight, but it's still lightweight enough where it's not going to weigh you down in the field. We've got our IP67 uh, water and dust proof rating. So, what does that uh, mean in real terms? They're saying that um, IP67 means that a device can be submerged up to one meter of water for up to 30 minutes. Look, I probably wouldn't suggest, uh, you know, um, uh, fully submerging this for any length of time but it's good to know if you were to drop this in a creek or something like that if you're out hiking um, you know or it simply gets wet with some rain it's not going to interfere with the device and uh, you know ruin it. The uh, antenna here is removable you can just unscrew that as well. The battery on it is a heavy duty 7.4 volt uh, 2600 milliamp hour lithium battery. 
So when charging the radio there, you clearly see that the red LED lights are enabled at the bottom of the charger. And then when they're fully charged, they turn green. Okay, so guys, I won't waffle on too much about all the features because there are a lot to go through, but let's just talk about um, you know, some of the uh, features that I find quite important with this and you may find um, of an advantage as well. So basically you can operate it in 5 watt, 1 watt, or even right down to 100 uh, milliwatts, um, you know, various modes. So depending on how far you want to transmit, um, you know, you can adjust that transmitting power accordingly. You've got your standard 80 uh, CB channels, and there's also 119 user programmable channels. Now that's receive only. Um, for the nerds out there, between the 403 to 520 uh, megahertz range, okay? Uh, we've got a digital strength um, meter on this. So, you know, when I'm actually receiving a signal underneath here, it actually comes up, you know, between sort of like uh, zero to nine plus uh, range. So it's really good. So when you're receiving a signal, you can gauge how strong that signal is exactly. So I really find that a really neat feature to have. One of the coolest features about this and a lot of the uh, modern UHF radios now is this voice um, inversion scrambler. So I will explain that um, and show it further on in this review, but just to give you an idea about it, is you can program the, the channels so to enable that scrambler. So in other words, if you're, um, you know, talking to a friend of yours, you can enable that and it gives you a degree of privacy. Yes, if somebody else has, you know, a more modern UHF radio and they enable the scrambler on theirs, there's a good chance that they'll be able to listen, you know, to your conversation. So it's not like true encryption or anything like that, but it just adds a degree of privacy there over a lot of the other um, handheld radios that are out there. So yeah, that's a good feature as well. We've also got uh, cell call, so um, you can store in up to 48 uh, contacts there. And we've got the standard uh, CTCSS uh, and uh, DCS uh, silent channel operation. Uh, we've got a high contrast uh, LCD display there. So um, we've got keypad lock, there's an LED uh, backlight as well, and it will um, announce the channels you're on, okay? So I've turned the beep and the channel announcement off. I don't want that. When I'm in the field, if I change channel, I don't want it going channel one, you know, for example. Um, I just want to be able to look at the display and, and change that. But the option is there for you if you want to use it. So overall, guys, um, that's all I'm pretty much going to cover off on, on the desktop part of it. Um, let's talk quickly about where it's made. This is manufactured and made right here in Australia. So hat off to GME for doing so. Uh, so the price is more than what you would pay for a unit from China. So for the single um, radio, you're going to be looking at about $469. Or the pack, you're looking at about $899. So, um, you know, like I said, made here in Australia. The warranty on it, um, five years on the radio, and there's one year on the battery. So guys, look, let's get out on the farm now. I'm really uh, keen to uh, push this radio to the limits and just show you in real world conditions what you could possibly expect with uh, range and clarity of that transmission. So let's get to it. Okay guys, so we'll start off with the test. We're only a K away from the farmhouse here, but it's heavily treed here. We're in the forest area on the farm. Let's just see how we go. You got a copy there, mate? Clear. Okay, so obviously there's no problems there guys. Crystal clear, I would have been shocked if we weren't. So let's go out to the next distance. Okay, so now we're at 5Ks guys and we've got a couple of mountains and hills in the way from the farmhouse to where I'm located. Let's see how we go. Okay mate, I'm a bit further out now. How do you read? Oh, I read you loud and clear. No dropout. Perfect. Okay, so that's awesome. So no dramas there whatsoever. As I say, we're definitely not line of sight. Let's push this out further. Okay guys, so here we are 10 k's away from the farmhouse. There's a mixture of trees and just open grazing land. Let's just see how good our signal strength is here. Okay mate, hopefully you've got a nice clear read on me now. How do you read me? 
Yeah, that's RG, good. Yeah. Okay, great. Okay, guys, so now we're out at 20K, so I think we might be getting to the limit here of the capability of the radio, but let's see how we go. Mate, how do you read me? Loud and clear, or is there a bit of interference now? It's a bit of static noise, but your voice is sounding clear. Yeah, copy that, mate. Thank you. So yeah guys, I think uh, looking at the limit here on the um, signal strength, we're hovering between sort of one and three, so we're really pushing the limit here. So, but we got there, 20 Ks from the farmhouse. Okay, so attaching the external mic is really simple. Once you've screwed off the side panel there, you can see there's a larger pin and a smaller pin, larger hole, smaller hole, really simple to attach there. So once you plug it in, you just screw up the screws there with your finger okay so how do you read me mate yeah i read you loud and clear it's great awesome cheers so obviously no problems there at all guys um i can obviously uh hear the transmission coming back loud and clear as well so yeah works just as well whether you want to use the external mic um, or just use the radio itself it's your preference so what I'll do here guys is show you how easy it is to actually set the scrambler. So if we hold down the menu button, you'll see scramble come up. If it doesn't, well, you can just scroll through, you know, until you get scramble to come up. So then you just hit it and you can have on or off, as simple as that. So we'll put it on there, hit again. So the scramble is now on. So I wanna show you what that sounds like to someone who's using a UHF but doesn't have that enabled and you're talking with it enabled to the other person who also has that enabled, if that makes sense. So let's see how this uh, sounds. Okay guys, I'll wrap up my final thoughts on the GME TX6600S UHF radio. There's really nothing I can complain about with it. It's just a better enhancement to the 2 watt radios that I previously had. I do like the solid feel of it. You know, coming with that five year warranty being made here in Australia, there's certainly a quality feel to them. As for the practical use, um, you know, a lot of people will be wondering, well, do I need a five watt radio or will a two watt radio, you know, suit my needs? Basically, you're gonna be looking at getting probably twice the performance if you go up to a 5 watt over the previous 2 watt GMEs that I've tested. So, you know, depending on what you're doing, um, you can obviously go for the radio that suits your needs. The one thing I really like about this is that uh, voice scrambler. Now, it's not true encryption or anything like that, but still it just adds that next level of privacy, you know, where someone would have to have the latest uh, radios to be able to you know interpret that scrambling so to speak so you know that's a good uh, feature to have you know the handheld uh, mics they work brilliantly as well there's no loss of quality with any of that and overall the amount of features that is in this 5 watt <laughs> UHF radio is probably far far more than I would probably ever use you know I just want something that's going to go the distance and speaking of I was really happy to be able to stretch out to 20 k's from the farmhouse here uh, and still get that transmission however in being you know fully honest with it guys depending on where I was standing at the time and if there was a little bit of a tree in the way you know it would interfere with that signal at that range because the signal strength isn't that strong obviously however um, you know up to that distance there you know 15 k's 10 k's etc like it just went perfectly you know it didn't matter whether there was trees in the way or we we're in forest or, or whatever it just transmitted uh very clearly so yeah so overall guys look i'm pretty happy with it i hope you enjoyed the review because you know there's not a lot of reviews on radios where they actually do proper distance testing and you know that real world testing so if you like our review please give it the thumbs up and we'll catch you on the next one